<laughs> yeah, it's a I, always, I always do this, man. Every, every, uh, I always forget it's best of five and not best of three. So I'm gonna have to edit that afterwards. Okay, here's a switch up. Oh. Power going with probably his original main before Min Min came out. <laughs> Sam is. God. Sam is a very good character as well. Uh, but I do want to know how he's going to use his projectiles in a matchup like this. Look at they're just immediately as soon as the match starts, we are both charging. <laughs> we, are, <laughs> we both need these. Well, it, it's it's the added. I feel like for a coward's position here, it's. The fact that I can get my opponent to hold shield, I like, like that. See how much pressure he's able to apply in towards the corner? He gets a double arc fire into the up air. Oh. That's all stemming from him just going for arc thunder, forcing power to actually roll into that arc fire. That's a lot of pressure, man. Yeah, that was crazy. You just got almost 90% from winning neutral one time. Nice. Yeah, and the thing is, I know what power's thinking too in this counter pick is he's like, okay, if I have a projectile that can stop him from charging you know i can get in that way but coward's like i don't care <laughs> i'll just heal this start charge shot and i'll keep charging you know it's not really going to slow down what i'm trying to do here oh, oh nice a what the fake out there doesn't get the nosferatu but still worthy attempt here that's good on power to actually stop that l1 but unfortunately not oh. enough not even the spike hitbox from that down air yeah he needed that spike Tough call here, but I like that roll paying off here and the shot to kind of put it in here. Not enough, but that's a read with the up smash. Clean nice, play nice from power. Yeah, that was a really good snipe off stage to force him to do that awkward up beat recovery. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's a whole shot there. Charge finally for power. That's going to give him some opportunity to apply a little bit of pressure when he comes back on the stage, but also try to read something there. Great opportunity using those bomb balls to kind of force up the situation. Yeah, very good uh, ledge move that Samus has. Kind of similar to the arc fire. Just forces the opponent to pick a pretty unsafe option at the ledge. Yeah, I think and... it all combos to up till that high percent. Yep, and never forget the bomb, the actual bomb ball does damage to the shield. So you have to also account for that if you are somebody on low on shield. Yeah, I remember before when charge shot was like better on shield, like the bomb to charge shot was like guaranteed shield break. Yeah, it was it was Before. ridiculous. Yeah, that was when I played Samus. For good times. <laughs> I stopped playing after that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That, uh, weak missile has way too much lag there. Okay. Oh, close. Oh, I like that. I like. Yeah, I like the idea. Great tech though. Oh. It's it's good okay. too because you look at the position where a coward is going from those consistent recoveries, and it's good for power to let him know I'm not gonna let you keep coming back all the time for free. But finally, oh. there's enough pressure on the shield. The forward smash is not gonna do it. This gives power the whole stage. I like that fake out here, and he gets the forward and the stock. What a play, man! Yeah, good good to force him to jump in that situation. But uh, yeah, let's see what he can do. Oh, nice dash attack. Oh, weak forward smash. I mean, it's still a good punish, but definitely could have been bigger. Nice. That's good. That's good of opportunity there, just because, like I said, you kind of... Even though you don't have, like, enough shield stun to go in for, like, a grab or something, it holds a coward in place. That's where it really starts to matter here. What a nice. good trade there. Going through the arc fire as well. Oh, he's Close just right. Oh, no. No, he's fine, but he's at the ledge. Really bad space to be in. And, yeah, uh, yeah, he's very, very close to dying. Oh, the charge shot again. Just not caring about the arc fire, man. Just going right through everything. Three charge and, uh, shots back to back to back. Yeah. That was actually a huge comeback. Huge comeback from power. Uh, you think Samus about it counter pick working out. Right. You think about it like this. Right, even though there's Arc Thunder and Charge Shot, the real trade that Power was getting here was more so in the trade of the fact that it was, hey, if he goes for Arc Fire and I call it out within that distance with Charge Shot, I get a huge 20 to 40% and I can lead that in. If he doesn't go for that, I can have him hold shield and this gives me more time to fight myself for center stage or take control of the opportunity here that I have with him holding shield. Those are two yep. really big power moves that Power made, no pun intended. And that paid off dividends when he finally pushes this game five here. Yeah, very, very good stuff. I mean, Simon just gets so much reward off of hitting like a medium charge shot. It like leads to a grab, dash attack, like all sorts of things. 
So the more you can utilize that move, the better it's going to be for him. But, uh, we do got Coward's counter pick in game five. I really want to see uh, where he's going to take him out. He can't go back to Kalos, I don't think. Wait, no. Is there a DSR in this rule set? I, can't I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. Is. Okay, so he can go back to Kalos if he doesn't get banned. But uh, we'll see. For those of you guys wondering what DSR is, it's Dave's stupid rule. Basically a rule that uh, prevents you from going back to certain stages that you won on. Specific a stage that you won on. There you go. Sorry. All right, cool. Game five. Like I said, power able to force that game five narrative with the Samus. What a big change because I did not see the Samus go through, but you started to see it come to a hole towards the end. And a lot of that was that triple charge shot. He was not afraid to get within those ranges. Yep, very, very good stuff. Like any move that he has that can start punishing Kaur from getting these arc fire setups, he's gonna really, really want to abuse that because uh, Kaur just gets so much reward off of hitting that move. Yeah. Like a ridiculous Most amount. Yeah, so right here, um, Power is fine with this counter pick now because you can see he's just holding onto the platform and uh, gaining some time to charge as well. It also has the wall to, you know, make his recovery a little bit better, too, if he wants to use that wall jump. But Oof. I say that, and he gets killed <laughs> off stage. Uh, I, Samus is a really good recovery, so it's not often that she gets edgeguarded like that. No I think kidding. he just air dodged in a really terrible spot. And, uh, yeah. You yeah. can even see the fact that, like, a coward wasn't afraid of that planking maneuver that Power demonstrated. It was more of like, okay, if he's going to try to plank here as much as possible... I'm going to make sure I have the proper setup so when I do get him a little bit above the ledge, I am going to be able to punish him here, even with that wall jump. Oh, nice drift. Power wasn't sure if he was going to go uh, left or right, but oh Oof. my god, huge snipe. No fear whatsoever. And uh, that's exactly what you need to bring this game back. Now I'm looking, to see, I'm looking to see that adjustment here. Look at that from every single time. Look at that. If Coward wants to play within that range, it's power that gets the better trade in with the charge shot. But I'm looking yep. from I'm looking from Coward to trying to definitely start trying to close the gap differently this time around. You gotta yeah. make some adjustments, man. He can't rely as heavily on arc fire and mid range when he has the charge shot because he's just punishing it very hard now, almost breaking the shield. Okay, that's a decent dash attack trade. Still has him at the ledge here. Oh. Again, there's the charge shot going through the arc fire. Right, doesn't have the fire tome right now. A little bit more time to charge it back, but oh my god. Crazy, crazy Levin offstage Nair doing so much knockback. A lot of knockback Carter, indeed, this Carter. man was reaching. Oh, he's going to get the max heal damage as well. 70% not close to dying from like a raw move. Yeah, Coward's got to be careful. He, that, that arc fire is kind of shut down a little bit now just because he looks at the situation where he's in the mid range and then there's always a charge shot right in his face. So he can't really go for that anymore. Good DI on that one from the forward air. But unfortunately, nice. was there enough to stop him from the recovery? He's This time, I like it. He doesn't oh. go that low in the recovery because if he would have went a little bit too low, Power was going to look for that snipe with a charge shot. Yeah, for sure. Okay, still keeping up the pressure. No Zer snipe, but he has him at the ledge again. Oh, no invincibility here on the ledge. Okay, okay, he doesn't get punished for it. Uh, screw attack is enough. He actually crossed up the DI as well. So, uh, really good stuff again for power. Only taking 17%. That's the second time he's gotten a revenge stock without really taking any damage. So, last stock for both these players. You can go either way. Yeah, we're just going to charge here. Why not? Oh, my God. The Thoron right in his face. Oh, great tech. Oh, stack the jump. But, really good recovery. Still living Power's here. being alive here. Oh, he didn't go for the up smash. No, but that was good though. Even though he missed, he made that error, he still went for a chase down with that arc hunter. Oh, I think he has the Thor on here. A lot of shield pressure. <laughs> yeah, he can't get a hard punish on that. Yeah. Good for him to hold yeah. it because he knows he's within the grab there. Oh no, Power uh, went for the wrong timing on that. Ledge. I don't know what happened. Wall I don't know if he I don't know if he air dodged off stage. I don't know why he drifted so far off stage with no jump. I don't know what happened at the end there. 